Hey folks, dude here, and well, it's another episode of Knife Blog. Oh man, John Wayne Colt 45 was asking about, of all things, he was asking about this knife. This week's knife is going to be the Tecna Wilderness Edge Knife and Survival System. Says it weighs less than 16 ounces, serrated edge for cutting, magnesium fire starter, ceramic knife sharpener, quick release latching mechanism with a safety lock. Uh, on the other side of the box says lithium flashlight and handle, fishing reel converts in the sheath to a fishing pole. Useful selection of wilderness accessories, survival module complete with accessories, U.S. and foreign patents pending. Uh, this is a model number T6300, which is the silver one, or T6300B as in Baker for black. This is a copyright box of 1988, and these things are very few and far in between, if you do encounter them, still in the box. Uh, actually did come in a box, bubble wrap, all the rest of that stuff. Well, let's just run through this thing real quick and dirty so you guys basically can see what was in the actual knife itself. Did come in two varieties. You had the, of course, natural finish stainless. You did have a anodized, and I think it actually is an anodized finish. The, uh, the holster is such that you had a safety lock on it. You push on the safety lock, that button right there, then the latch would release and you had the knife breaking free of the holster and then you could lock it back in and it was pretty much locked in place and it's not the best system okay underneath you have a thumb screw here which then has this little box come out the bottom out the box in the bottom you have uh, I don't think it's showing in that one hang on a second let me crank up another one real quick and I can show you guys what I got I, I have the three varieties here of which they did come. There was a solid variety which did not have the windows in the blade. There was, of course, the windowed varieties. So give me, give me two seconds here. I have one thing that actually is missing from this box underneath. And let me just crack open the solid one real quick, see if I do have one. Uh, no, I do not. I do not have the solid one showing. So uh, give me two seconds here. Give me two seconds. I was not exactly set up great for this one, so forgive me on that one. But the, the little guy underneath basically pops out and then you have what's left of the scabbard underside and in that thing you would have um, you know what I think I actually have one underneath the black one here give me two seconds here you actually had your uh, just give me one second it's messing with me you had the little survival thing that actually fit in there fairly good of course you actually have this is humorous you actually have the best way to employ your knife to survive with their knife and they use their own knife and it actually is a fairly decent book of instructions you know it contains travel navigation signaling shelter water fire hunting fishing cooking maintaining health and of course first aid yeah whatever I'm gonna put this guy back together so you know I've not missed anybody up but underneath in the compartment you had of course the thumb screw going back in place and it does actually retain that storage container underneath there. So basically, what did you have in there? You had the little instruction booklet. Of course, you had your combination crock and uh, ferroserium rod. And you know what? I'm not going to beat my knife up to show you guys in demonstration here. So I'm going to grab up another a, a carbon steel blade. It's going to be two seconds here. Now, the funny thing is, this is about a quarter, not even quarter inch. It's about a four millimeter diameter ferroserium, ferroserium rod. But... It does work as advertised. I mean, these things actually do work. The crock stick actually will touch up your edges. And in combination, I really wish that they'd fielded these things to such a point where you actually could just buy them up. Because this it is, you know, it, it's eminently handy, and it's really a small package. Uh, I really, truly wish that they had had those things for sale after the knife had gone away. Now, there is a company still called um, Tektite. So T-E-K-T-I-T-E. -E, and they are currently the guys that bought up all the parts the dies or whatever, and they're still making these things. So basically, you had that combination guy underneath. You have an ampule with some fishing gear on board. Read like a swivel, some hooks, uh, some sinkers. This thing's kind of rusty, cruddy, nasty looking, so I'm not even going to open it up anymore. It did actually have a little button compass. And whether it is a good bumping button compass, uh, I can't tell you about the accuracy about it, but I can tell you basically due north. It's pretty close. It's actually showing fairly close to due north because uh, actually my house orientation is such that my actual uh, screen that I'm looking at now is basically about a north orientation. It did, of course, have some snare wire. It did, of course, have a cover, you know, that, that plastic film they always put on, like, you know, stuff they're trying to protect. It is a sheet metal aluminum or it might be steel. I don't know, but it's a sheet metal mirror with a good surface on it that's covered for protection you know you pull it out when you need it to you have a 
sighting arrangement. So you basically sight through this, you look through the hole, and you're flashing the guy that you see in the distance. And it actually did work pretty good. Now, specs on this, let's go real, real, real quick. Of course, they said it's, it's 16 ounces. I don't know about that. I don't know. It, it feels kind of light. Uh, tell you the truth, it really does not feel the best of all designs in all places. Uh, it is approximately about a 17 centimeter, not, not quite, 17 and a half, well, uh, about a 17 and change centimeter blade. So basically in English, that's going to be about, uh, about a five and a half inch blade. You know, from actually edge, edge of handle forward. does have a very nice prominent choice. So let me show you guys basically that one. Uh, I actually do have this one set up in the fishing reel arrangement. So essentially you have a little fishing reel that is three components. It's the handle, it's the screw, and it's the reel. It all screws into this little hole in the side of the unit right there. And then what happens is there's basically this little guide that takes the place of this slot that is in the end of the scabbard. So you have this little slot here, and it basically kind of looks almost like the end of like a monkey wrench or something. And what it does, it just it slips in there, this thumb screw clamps it in place, and it becomes a fishing reel. Is it a good fishing reel? I wouldn't really stake my reputation on it as saying it's a good fishing reel, but it's a fishing reel, okay? Now, the kicker is, supposedly you have this thing hung in your belt, you reach down, there's two quick releases, and you push them, this pops free, stays on your belt, and then you have the unit free and easy to handle. When it comes time to snap it back up, you simply line everybody back up, click them back into place, he's hanging back on your belt yet again. Now, in terms of collectability, yeah, you do see these guys on eBay, and yes, they are around, and yes, you probably should have one in your personal collection, but they are not going cheap. And the reason why they're not going cheap is because of the TV show Lost. Lost had one of these things, and they were like, oh, yeah, it's the Billy's Bang thing. You know, the knife guy's got one. It's a perfect survival knife. If I was on a desert island, this would not be my first choice for a survival knife, okay? It would not. Now, the kicker is uh, it looks really good on the show, and, yes, you probably could utilize such thing because it is a knife, and in the worst case of scenarios, you always wish to have a knife on your person. So, basically, you have your black, you got your stainless, and, of course, you also have your full blade. Now, the full blade one is actually a really decent feeling knife. As a matter of fact, I would say probably the balance on this is so much better than these because these things feel really light and flippy because they're missing all the parts uh, of the steel that's in between. But the character is, of course, you're paying a slight weight penalty. And believe it or not, these actually locked into the scabbard better with the windows and, of course, the raised sections. Now, humorously enough, you can see this one does say Tecna. Now, this one, of course, being the next guys along, it says... Hopefully you guys can see that. It says Edge Tech. Now, even in the scabbard itself, it says Edge Tech, so obviously it changed the molds up just enough, so it said Edge Tech. Now, obviously, this one says Edge Tech USA. Precursor to this, it does say Techna USA, and I don't know if that's going to show because it's fairly small font, and I really don't have the best webcam yet. I will improve my webcam sometime down the road. I will get a better one. Trust me on that one. These films will get better. Videos. These videos will get better, and of course, we'll move along from there. Now, the storage on these things, there is a lot of room to tell you the truth. I mean, you probably could stick more crud in there, and you have more space, and you know, it's really not filled up with everything they give you. This one is actually uh, nice because it actually does have the fishing reel and all the other various components, so you can convert this guy over. Everything does fit in here nicely. Now, the kicker was is basically you have the, the, the signal mirror going on top, and there is some space left for the instruction book to kind of hold everybody in place. Now, the stuff that's really kind of smaller probably would stay put in here. I mean, we're not talking like ridiculously huge stuff, but the, the actual um, execution of it is, you know, it, it's not the best. I mean, the guy that designed this thing, uh, uh, Auchenfoot or Auchenhaus or whatever, they, you know, Auchenhout, I mean, I really have guys with, you know, the problems with that guy's name is like this really weird Dutch name, but everything does fit in there with some room to spare. Uh, it does actually have, like, you know, the best of the best of the chop sake kind of survival attitudes, but there's better things you can utilize and you can build that stuff yourself. Uh, I'm not going to try to keep these videos too terribly long, but I want to give you guys kind of a heads up. And if you're looking for a cool period piece, I would say most definitely you probably wish to have yourself one of these wilderness edges from Tecna. How cool are they? Uh, they're really cool to have. Are they really cool to use? I would say probably not. Probably one of the coolest things about these things, you're thinking wasted space under the handle, is you flip the handle up, and you have the flashlight that they still make, and it's called the Tecmas flashlight. And it is actually a really decent flashlight. 
has a lithium battery on board and a standard incandescent bulb. Uh, they probably do have a retrofit now for an LED, and of course, technology has gotten better as we've moved along. All right, folks, I'm going to break off on this one, but this is the Tecma stuff that, well, has been requested by John Wayne Colt 45, and I want to give you guys kind of a heads up, because now I'm going to do kind of a promotional thing. So if you guys get a hold of me, and you tell me about some nights that you want to have, and I feature it, well, guess what? One of my buddies down in, well, good old Florida that does hydroprinting, also known as Hydroprint Services, he is nice enough to have sent me a bunch of these cards now. I'm going to give every single person that gets this thing a 10% off card. That's right, 10% off your hydro printing, and your guns can look just as cool, or your knives can look just as cool, or heck, he even does motorcycle parts. Anything that can be dunked in a water and stick a color to, you can hydro print. And he also does Cerakoting. All right, guys, I'm going to break off on this one, but you know what? John Wayne Cole 45, brother, you're getting yourself a 10% off on that one. So if you guys get a hold of me and you spiff yourselves, you're going to get the goodies. And uh, unfortunately, I now have this daytime sunlight thing going on because it's getting too late in the day. But uh, if you guys get a hold of me or if you want to check them out, Hydro Print Services, good times. Definitely check out your technos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on this one. This is knife vlog number three, I guess it is. Oh, we're talking about the Wilderness Edge Survival Knife. Good times. We're going to break off on this one, guys. Eat good. Keep it a ton ring. And as always, always, uh, that's a weird kind of angle, but I'll make it work. Oh, well, guys. <laughs> See you later. Arsh!